Hello everybody, welcome to the Impressive Channel. Remy Ma was accused of throwing shade at Megan Thee Stallion when she said that Megan was a scallywag. Now get this, Megan did an interview at the Rolling Loud Festival and an Instagram model named Brittany Renner referred to Megan Thee Stallion as a stallywag, which is her version of scallywag, and called her the B word three times during the interview. <laughs> Now this was awkward to watch because the interviewer was doing too much. She was getting too familiar by calling Megan the B word, I guess as a term of endearment, but she was doing too much. Luckily for her, Megan Thee Stallion kept it professional and she didn't take it to heart. This whole interview was discussed on a show called The State of the Culture and Remy Ma happens to be a host on the show. And Remy made a comment saying that Megan Thee Stallion is technically a scallywag. I wouldn't, probably, I don't think it was the bitch word for me. When I watched it, I was like, scallywag? Whoa, like, <laughs> <laughs> I may be a bitch once, twice, three times, but scallywag? Never. Where you pull like, it out from? But, like, so look, now, y'all know I'm mad literal, so I look up the word scallywag. She kind of might have been right by calling her a scallywag. Whoa, <laughs> listen, let's listen. hear this out. Yeah, what's listen. the definition? No, the definition of scallywag, and um, it was saying something like someone, <laughs> someone who does bad things and like they 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 do bad actions, but they're like praised for it. They're oh. they're, they're known for it. it's a good thing. So I'm like, you know, make mm. she be talking that shit, like shit on niggas, violating them or whatever, and that's why she's like. Champion for that. I, I didn't feel no type of what? <laughs> I didn't feel no type of what? What's up, Scallywag? But like, if I heard that, I would have to rethink the entire combo. Like, if someone threw that in, I'd be like, hold on, I'm not paying attention. I don't even enough, think it was, what's up. Attention. It was just like, I got the Scallywag here. Like, what? <laughs> yeah. <that> was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it was backstage at a Bola Live concert, so I don't feel like it was so far out of I don't you know, know. context. And Meg, and Meg didn't seem offended. Pocket. She took it really cool. Like, she played it off cool. <laughs> yeah, no, Meg is cool. She played it I never met her, but everyone talks to me like, yo, you would really like her. No, she's super cool, and you would. Now, when I saw this, I was like, really, Remy? I do feel like Remy was being shady, you know, just a tad. And she wasn't wrong about the definition of scallywag because when you actually look up the definition, it does say a person who behaves badly, but in an amusingly mischievous rather than harmful way. However, there are other definitions. Now the Webster Dictionary describes scallywag as a person who scamp or reprobate. Scamp is a synonym for rascal. Rascal means a mean, unprincipled, or dishonest person, or a mischievous person or animal. The other meaning of scallywag is reprobate. Reprobate is a morally corrupt or depraved person. So if you look at these meanings, they don't really describe who Megan Thee Stallion is as a person, at least from what we've seen. Yes, her musical content is explicit, but outside of that, you don't really see her doing any evil things, nor do you see her being praised for being mischievous. That is not her claim to fame. She's praised for good things. She's praised for being a talented rapper and a businesswoman and a college student and a person who has very strong knees. That is what she's praised for. A scallywag, in my personal opinion, would be somebody like Takashi 6 9 because he was praised for being a mischief and he and his crew were doing a lot of wicked things and they were praised for it. And I have to be honest here, but Remy Ma herself has exhibited some scallywag behavior. Let's not forget, she did shoot her own own friend over some money but the difference is she wasn't praised for it she actually had to serve time for that and she almost lost her career but yeah I just had to get a little technical with that Megan Thee Stallion would not be considered a scallywag at least in my opinion now since we're on the topic of scallywags let's talk about Cardi B now Cardi B 
recently went on Instagram Live and said that she will not apologize for the comment she made during her rant against Access Hollywood. Now, if you don't know the backstory, Cardi B did go on a fiery rant against Access Hollywood because she was upset with a clickbait title that they used on their YouTube video. She did an interview talking about the struggles of being a working mom and Access Hollywood titled the video, Cardi B admits baby culture calls someone else mommy because she works so much. It feels wet. Now, Cardi B was very upset about this and she even made an insensitive comment by wishing that somebody's mother would catch AIDS. Don't fucking cuss off. Try to make me look like I'm a fuck ass mom. That's not something that I'm not. So don't use my kid for fucking clickbait. Ask Sex Hollywood, suck my whole dick. Suck a dick. I hope your fucking mom catch AIDS, bitch. The f now this comment was extremely insensitive and ignorant and even though i understand that cardi b was upset about access hollywood trying to use her child for clickbait it still didn't warrant that type of response that response was very hateful and very ignorant as well because no one could catch aids they have to contract hiv first and if their HIV goes untreated, then they will develop full-blown AIDS. And this condition is very serious. It's nothing to play around with, and there are many people out here suffering with it. So that comment was hateful. And Cardi B had a chance to make it right by apologizing, but she said that she doesn't wanna apologize. And honestly, I felt like it would've been better for her not to say anything at all, because the fact that she's unapologetic about what she said just makes the situation even worse. So, hey guys, so I was gonna, so let's, so this debate that I was talking about, right? So, should celebrities apologize for the same shit they say? And me as a celebrity, oh, I hate calling myself a celebrity, but fuck, I am. So should celebrities apologize for the actions and the things they say? And you want to know something? At first, like, I was saying, like, maybe... But then again, I was I was I was telling people like it's like no, you know a lot of my fans they wanted me to apologize for something that I said on my live the other day because everybody was talking about it and it was and everybody was making a big deal and you know what I tell them I'm not going to motherfucking apologize for shit because if I said it when I was upset I said what the fuck I say everybody say shit when they upset people be fucking saying oh I hope you get hit by a fucking car I hope you fucking fall off a motherfucking bridge I I I people say all oh, crazy type of so when I say some crazy shit, people just want to highlight it because they hate me. They ask every single blogger, every person, oh my God, can you please talk about how Cardi said this, this, and that? Oh, they just want, they just want somebody to, to confirm y'all, to let y'all know that what people say is wrong. If y'all think that is wrong, it is what it is, but I ain't gonna fucking apologize for you. Every single time that I say something out of character and I apologize for something, you want to know what people do? They keep on throwing it in my face and they keep saying oh even though she apologized i still don't like her so why the fuck am i gonna motherfucking apologize for fuck you do what i say fucking affected you no so suck my the fuck? suck my dick. and if you don't want to suck it fuck it yeah motherfuckers is motherfucking crazy like damn you, you can you imagine for motherfucking apologizing every single time you get mad and you gotta apologize to people like i'm sorry that i got upset guys i'm sorry that somebody <coughs> got me upset the other day the fuck am I gonna, damn you gotta fucking, you gotta fucking apologize for happy feelings nowadays nowadays you can't even fucking feel nothing or you gotta fucking make an apology for everything god damn now nah, suck my dick it is what it is. Because even when you do apologize, it's still a problem. How many times have I apologized for something that I say? Plenty. And guess what? People don't give a f They still hate it. They still hate. They still mad at it. They still this. They still bring it up. So apologize for motherfucking what? Suck my d I said what I said. It is what the f it is. And then I I don't like when people be like, Cardi's so mean. This and that. I'm not a mean person. If I was a mean person, God would have f***ing blessed me. God wouldn't bless me. When, when I be having scandals going on and people be like, Cardi's meeting your karma. Karma, bitch. That shit goes the fuck away. And I'm st and that shit goes the fuck away. If God really wanted to keep me fucked, he would have left me in the situation when I was in the strip club. Because ain't nothing motherfucking worse than being fucking broke in a motherfucking building that sometimes you don't have hot water for a whole motherfucking day. When I used to bring uh, niggas through my crib, niggas couldn't even can take a shower because there was no hot water. Ain't no worse situation than motherfucking that. <laughs>
Everybody's like, oh, she's so mean. She's so this. Uh, 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 shut the f up. She's so irrelevant. She's so this. I don't see nobody fucking like Cardi. Why? Cardi's so famous. If nobody motherfucking like her, well, because if you don't like me or you don't, you still gonna talk about me because the people love to talk about people that they hate. That's what keeps you relevant when you when people hate you. Everybody always talking about, oh, how is Cardi still relevant? Nobody likes her. Because people like to talk about people they don't like. That's Cardi B's response to the backlash, and I'm not surprised by her comments. And <laughs> I find it funny that Cardi B is saying anytime she apologizes, it's always thrown back in her face. I've seen Cardi B go on a lot of rants, and she rarely, and I do mean very rarely, apologizes for anything she ever says. She never takes accountability for her actions. She always justifies it, and right now she's using this excuse to justify why she will not apologize about that AIDS statement. For one, she won't apologize because deep down inside, she really meant that. That wasn't her emotion speaking, that was her heart speaking. And that just kind of tells you the type of heart she has. Not only that, she won't face any immediate repercussions for her actions. That's another reason why she won't apologize because she knows she's protected by the industry. And she tried to use God's name to defend herself. And I hate when people misuse God's name, but she tried to say that nothing will happen to her. God keeps blessing her. She thinks karma goes away so she will never have to deal with it. But here's the thing. When you keep testing God, you will fumble those blessings, all right? Pride always comes before the fall. So when you think you're too big and mighty for reproach, that humble pie is gonna hit you right in the face when you least expect it. So Cardi thinks she's untouchable and she can say whatever she wants in the heat of the moment, but I'm telling you this, that energy you put out will come back when you least expect it. This is why it's important to stay humble. And listen, everybody makes mistakes, but it's important to acknowledge those mistakes and learn from them. If you don't learn now, you're gonna learn later and you're gonna learn the hard way. Anyway, tell me what you all think about this video down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe and share this video if you care. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.